Now when you study or look at the geological map of Virginia, you'll notice a lot of red lines, straight lines, that indicate igneous rock. Well, those red lines are diabasic dikes that came later on than the Triassic deposits, and they cut right through or intruded into these deposits. And this is what the rock looks like. When it's real fairly fine grain, it, it turns almost a rusty color. If it's real fine grain, it's a basalt. But these are diabases. The diabase is a little bit larger grain than the basalt. And then if you get one, which in another dike we'll see later on, then you get to a gabroid dike. There's not hardly any quartz in this rock, and it's mostly dark mineral, ferromagnesian minerals. And if you pan out over here, you'll be able to see these dikes that were exposed by weathering large rounded dikes. Now if you look closely at these rocks, you'll find that they have spheroidal weathering. They kind of flake off from a rounded surface, especially the fine grain ones. So when we study rocks later on, the fine grain ones will be actually basalt. The next grain size up will be these diabases and then the larger grains will be gabroid which will come and get some of the special